हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज रूल नंबर फोर ऑफ इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट मी टेल यू सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट सपोज वी हैव ए फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई एंड वी हैव अनदर फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई वॉट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू एक्सप्रेशंस actually here given f of x comma y that means this function this function in this function we have two variables x and y but it is not necessary that the degree of x and degree of y will be same this is not necessary but in this function here again here we have two variables x and y but in this case x and y this variables will be in product form and their degree degree of x and degree of y that will be same for example suppose i am taking f of x comma y this is equals to x cube y square so obviously this function is of two variables x and y and in this case degree of x is 3 and degree of y is 2 but if i take f of product x y that means you have to write x y this is a function of product x y or x y whole square or you can write x cube y cube the x cube y cube means x y whole cube that means in this type of function the variables will be x and y in product form and degree of x and degree of y will be same okay in rule number 4 we have to use this concept function of product x y okay so let's start suppose Uh, we have an equation m dx plus n dy. This is equals to zero. Since we are going to find out the integrating factor, so obviously this equation will be non-exact equation. So del m del y is not equals to del m del x. Clear? Now, <clears throat> what is rule number uh, four? Here you have. if you can write m if you can write m in this form y into some function of product xy that means from this expression m you have to take common y and the remaining part that will be function of product xy okay similarly from n you have to take common x and the remaining part that will be function of product xy clear so suppose we have an equation m dx plus n dy equals to 0 and if we can write m and n in this form m is equals to y into some function of product xy and n is equals to x into some function of product xy okay then you have to calculate mx minus ny okay you have to calculate mx minus ny and if this result is non zero then then 1 by mx minus ny is integrating factor clear so again uh, i am repeating you have to take common y then the remaining part will be function of product xy similarly from n you have to take common x and the remaining part will be function of product xy if you can write in this form for both m and n then you have to calculate mx minus ny if this is non zero then 1 by mx minus ny that will be your integrating factor then the remaining part will be same process you have to multiply the integrating factor and then you have to apply the uh, solution formula so let's understand using an example solve x y square plus 2 x square y cube dx plus x square y minus x cube y square 
dy this is equals to 0 ok solution so first you have to verify that this equation is uh, non exact equation ok so here m is equals to x y square plus 2 x square y cube and n is equals to x square y minus x cube y square ok so del m del y this is equals to 2 x y plus 6 x square y square ok and del n del x this is equals to 2 x y minus 3 x square y square so obviously these two equations are not uh, this del m del y is not equals to del n del x and this imply non exact equation okay now <clears throat> here m m is equals to x y square plus 2 x square y cube if i take common y so the remaining part is x y plus 2 x square y square yes or no here you can see that after taking common y the remaining part this is a function of product x y here you have product x into y and degree of both x and y is same here you have x y whole square x square y square means x y whole square and degree of x and degree of y both is 2 ok that means this is of the form y into f1 x y ok similarly for n n is equals to x square y minus x cube y square if you take common x so this will be x y minus x square y square and again you can see this is product x y and this is product x y whole square ok so you are getting x into some function of product x y ok that means first two conditions are satisfied then you have to calculate m x minus n y and this is equals to so x square y square plus 2 x cube y cube minus x square y square minus minus plus x cube y cube so x square y square cancelled so the result is 3 x cube y cube ok now <clears throat> same process you have to multiply this uh, you have to find out the integrating factor so if is equals to 1 by 3 x cube y cube since this is not equals to 0 okay so 1 by 3 x cube y cube this is your integrating factor now multiply multiplying so <coughs> you have to multiply 1 by 3 x cube y cube in the given equation so what is your m m is equals to this one now x y square plus 2 x square y cube x y square plus 2 x square y cube and you have to divide by 3 x cube y cube ok now plus plus x square y minus x cube y square divided by 3 x cube y cube this is dy and this is dx and this is equals to 0 if I simplify this so this will be 1 by 3 x square y plus 2 by 3 x dx plus 1 by 3 x y square minus x cube cancelled so this will be 1 by 3y dy this is equals to 0 or achha. so this equation is exact equation obviously after multiplying the integrating factor so the solution is 
solution is integration 1 by 3 x square y plus 2 by 3 x dx plus integration terms of n free from x obviously this term this is not free from x because x is in multiplication form but this term is free so you have to write minus 1 by 3y dy this is equals to c okay now integration with respect to x so this will be x to the power minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 uh, that means minus 1 by 3xy okay plus 2 by 3 log of x and this will be minus 1 by 3 log of y this is equals to c okay if you want to uh, adjust the negative sign you can do okay this is your required solution which is the required solution okay this is very simple now try to solve uh, your textbook problems thank you so much